The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, April 22nd. I'm James Spann. Storms in this evening. The weekend beautiful. And next week, the warmest week so far this year. Let's go in there and check things out. Water vapor satellite view. Upper trough passing through. That was the radar at 2.07. And you can see scattered showers and storms. Uh, they're under severe limits so far. They could produce some small hail and gusty winds in spots. But they will be ending soon as dry air takes over as a cold front passes through. Temperatures mostly in the 70s. Uh, Birmingham 72, a passing rain shower knocked the number down. Tuscaloosa, they've seen some rain. They're sitting at 73. But over the weekend, get ready for low 80s around the nation, about as quiet as it gets in late April. Hardly any problems around the nation with uh, uh, watches or warnings or big storms or flooding or anything else. Still have the marginal risk of severe weather from our part of the country up to near Cincinnati and Louisville. There's the marginal risk for Alabama for the next few hours, uh, basically south of a line from Scottsboro to Birmingham to Linden. And again, uh, the main threat, some hail and strong gusty winds. Those will be ending from northwest to southeast as dry air takes over. This is the day three outlook for Sunday, a risk of severe weather for parts of the nation's heartland. And next week should be very active. This is Tuesday, day five. Uh, severe storms, a good possibility along the Interstate 35 corridor. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. And on day six, the following day, Wednesday, a risk of severe weather from near Dallas-Fort Worth almost up to Chicago. But uh, not here. Ridging will likely keep all of that uh, bad weather west of the state. Rain for the next five days, about a half inch or less. And really, after this evening, things look pretty dry for a while. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Trough axis east of the state, a bright, sunny day. And the high, 77 to 80 in most spots. Just beautiful. Sunday. Delightful weather. Sunny with low 80s. I'd say 82, 83 for most spots. Go to Monday of next week. We stay dry. Low to mid 80s. Tuesday, a front is north of the state. And again, we note that deep surface low that's east of Denver. And that could set up some severe weather problems over parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas. But for us, that looks uh, mostly dry and very warm with mid-80s. Thursday, that's not a good thing to see in April. A very, very deep surface low is west of Omaha. And again, that's an obvious severe weather look there for parts of Missouri and Arkansas down into northeastern Texas. But for us, the ridge holds. Should be mostly warm and dry, mid-80s, maybe upper 80s. Somebody might touch 90. Thursday, that surface low weakens north of the state. And again, we're mostly dry, and this is a week from today. Friday the 29th, the new trough in the west. We've got ridging around here, and same thing. Looks like a front tries to push through maybe Thursday night or Friday morning, but a chance of a few showers, yes, but no big rain event, no severe weather. This is the end of the forecast period, Monday, May 2nd. The ridge is beat down a bit. Uh, surface low is north of us, and that might be a day with some active storms. But we all know these ridge patterns can be very persistent. And look at those summer-like numbers. Seeing a lot of upper 80s, low 90s on the board as we get into the month of May. As long as the ridge holds, temperatures will stay above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the video updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News on our live stream or on television at 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.